hey guys welcome back to my channel this will be the first of many adventurous cooking so today we are going to try out vegan fish using banana blossoms so if you're seeing I already cut the banana blossom but I'll be showing you how it looks we're gonna be deep frying it well actually just frying it so that it mimics the taste of fish so this is the banana blossom we're going to remove the leaves and we're going to be cutting it up and preparing it for cooking. So what you'll be seeing here is normal fish as well that I did not eat. I wanted to you know, get on the healthy side of things. Nothing is wrong with fish but I mean I want to try out new things. So the first thing we're going to be doing is cutting up the banana blossom. We're going to get a sharp knife and remove those banana spines. Those are the actual things that will become bananas, right? If we did not, you know, remove them. So, are the banana flowers rather. So we're going to be cutting it in half. We're going to be removing the leaves. And once we do that, we'll remove as much leaves as possible so that we don't have the red parts which will make it bitter. So let's go. So what we have here is the banana blossom heart, right? That's the middle. And you see a thick stem. We're going to be taking or removing the leaves right down to that stem part. That's the part that we will be eating, okay? So can you imagine that is the little small part that we have left. Later I realized that I probably cut off a little bit too much. Right, I could have left like two or three more leaves on it but that's fine. So we are left with that small thing and I'm going to be doing the same thing with the other half of the banana blossom. Alright guys, there we have it. So I decided to add a little of the leaves that I accidentally removed, but that's fine. I'm going to add it to the original thing or really just add them to the dish. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is getting a pot of water, right? And we're going to be boiling or softening the banana blossoms so it will be edible, right? So. They are now boiled. What we're going to do, they're a little soft, not too soft and not too hard. We're going to get some seasonings, right, some all-purpose seasoning and just put on it to actually give it some taste and flavor, right, and uh, not to get them too soft or too crushed out. Once we do that, we're going to be coating it with a bit of a flour so that we can fry it, right? and. Just to note, I did this twice, right? One with flour and cornmeal and one with flour alone. And trust me, you will see a major difference in both of these outcomes. However, I only had, I only tasted the one with cornmeal on here. And if I would choose, I would choose the one with just flour alone. So let's go. Okay, so on to frying my vegan fish. So basically we're adding it to a pot of oil, not too much oil, just enough to fry the surfaces and we're turning it, you know, if they don't look too bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a sauce. This sauce will be of ketchup and mayonnaise, right? Or actually barbecue sauce mixed with ketchup along with mayonnaise. We're just gonna mix that quickly and we'll be eating it with our banana blossoms or vegan fish. So, 
this is how they look when they are basically finished we are going to add them now to our plate and then you are going to be seeing how they look in the plate that's it right there this is basically how it looks all right so guys this is part two of using flour and cornmeal to coat our vegan fish right so i have my flour i have my cornmeal and i'm going to be adding a bit of seasonings and salt as well to the mix just going to mix up everything together and you know do the same thing with creating my sauce my ketchup my mayonnaise and also my barbecue sauce so listen this sauce you can definitely try it tastes really really good we're just gonna mix up everything together All right, so I already bought the banana blossoms here and what I'm gonna be doing is just simply adding it to the flour and cornmeal mix that I added. Now if you realize, they can get a little black because these were also the skins that were added on like the first time. So I'm just gonna add it to, to the mix, right? That's the flour, the cornmeal, the salt and seasonings. And we're gonna be frying them so I'm be, I'll be frying the skins first and then I'll move on to the actual banana blossoms so let's go So guys, if you realize that these look totally different from the ones that I did before, which only add the flour. Now, I'm not sure if it was because I used a little bit of oil. However, as I said, I don't want to use too much oil for a simple thing like this, right? And too much oil isn't good. But as you see, they are black and they are giving the cornmeal, you know, some grains to be left back in the oil but anyways let's keep doing it now this is the number one mistake that i did pressing it out after they were partially fried so what i should have done is press them out before so those juices could have been released so that really explains how they tasted the way that they did. Anyways, this is our sauce. We're going to be adding it to our plate and we're going to be trying it out. So this is me trying it out, which is the ones that are coated in the flour and the cornmeal. Now, number one mistake, I should have never added cornmeal because you will see the expression on my face in a few. <laughs> But as you know, you know, everything comes with trying out and experimenting. Obviously there were some uh, greens or strings inside of it, but I definitely loved, 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 loved the ones that were coated in only the flour. And trust me, I would do it again, but I do not recommend using cornmeal and, uh, you know, flour unless it is the ones that are in cans or that are already packed because it will be a much different flavor but these were straight from the tree they were a little stringy were a little bitter so yeah i would not recommend however this is a beautiful dish that uh, you can use or you can eat once you're transitioning and experimenting with turning meat based dishes into actual plant-based dishes as you see i'm just putting out everything but like it wasn't so bad in terms of the main banana blossom but the skins the skins were bitter so do not recommend anyways thank you so much for watching definitely like share subscribe because i will be doing a lot more of these cookings right me experimenting and see how i can actually venture out into being creative with my food while remaining healthy 
So thanks again and have a great day.